Alrighty guys, welcome to your fifth video and in this video what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be starting to create our registration page. Now the registration page is usually the first page that the user goes to whenever they want to use the site. It's the page that allows them to create their account, choose their username, um, choose their password and it pretty much allows them to like I said create their account because they need to create an account before they can add items and trade trade items make offers all that good stuff so let's go ahead and make that first well technically we already made index but you know I wouldn't consider this a page yet so go ahead and create a new file and the first thing that we want to do is we just want to go ahead and include the code to connect to our database so let's go ahead and do that right now if I could move my cursor in the right place PHP and well actually we might as well go ahead and save this save as and I'm just gonna name this register.php and to save it in the same directory as your index go ahead and hit save now like I said the very first thing we want to do is we want to include the code to connect to the database but actually before I even um, begin with that I want to add one line of code and that's session underscore start now I know I didn't talk to you guys about sessions and I'm going to talk about sessions more whenever I make the login script but what a session is is it's basically a temporary well session basically and the reason we want to make this is whenever the user logs in we're going to give them an identification it's pretty much a variable that sticks with that user now this is pretty much testing is the user logged in or logged out if they already are on a session that that means that the user is logged in so if a user is logged in then there's no reason they would be going to this register page you don't need to register if you're already logged into your account so later on when we test if the user is logged in or not then we already have that session started and we can say something like if the user is logged in already then just take them to their account page but for now I'm just gonna include that so I don't forget it later on and if all that confused you guys then just pretend I didn't say anything and uh, you'll understand later on but now like I said what we want to do is we want to include that connection file to connect to the database and the reason for that is whenever they choose their username and password their username and email what we want to do is we want to um, query the database and make sure no one else has that username or email yet if they do then they can't like take it from them you can't have two people with the same username so that's why we are including uh, this connection file at all so in order to include a file just go ahead and type include which is a built-in function and go ahead and type the name of your file now remember first of all this connection file is in a different directory so we need to go ahead and um, put the full path include forward slash actually I think I name it includes let me make sure file yep includes forward slash connect dot php now what this line of code is going to do is it's pretty much going to take all of the code from that connection file and place it right here pretty much we are now connected to our database so that's all the PHP I'm gonna write for right now now it's time to jump in and start coding the HTML so in order to start coding the HTML what I'm gonna do is keep moving my freaking cursor around start with the doc type now like I said this is going to be HTML5 so in case you guys are like where's the big X HTML declaration uh-uh that's a uh, old school we aren't doing that anymore so but HTML lang equals en and as far as uh, HTML and CSS goes I'm gonna be moving kinda quickly because I assume that you guys already watched my HTML5 and CSS3 tutorials if you didn't go do that and you guys will understand what all this crap is right here and now what I want to do is build my head and body so head and by the way I just wanna uh, preface all of my code with saying this the very first time um, this very first registration web page it's gonna go kinda slow because I'm gonna be taking guys through all my HTML code and also my CSS code and this first web page is definitely gonna be the longest because it's gonna be like the template once we build this registration page then we can just copy all this and paste it and you know change the things we need and it's gonna be like five times faster but for this first one I gotta take you guys through all the boring crap like title title 
make sure to end that baby right there and for this I'm just gonna uh, register and might as well go ahead and make the body right now so don't forget not vadi that's what they call it in uh, Russia or somewhere change the body and body and inside this body I'm gonna be putting um three main things the first thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be building a div and I'm gonna be giving it the ID of rapper now not rapper like Lil Wayne W-R-A-P-P-E-R -P -P -E this is pretty much gonna surround all of the code or most of it the wrapper is basically gonna be responsible for centering the web page so all of the HTML code we're gonna put inside here now the main structure for our website on every pretty much web page is we're gonna have something to the left and something to the right if you see on this main search page we have something to the left and something to the right um, whenever we search for items something to the left something to the right so that's pretty much going to be our basic structure although later on when we need a specific page like view item we can overwrite that if we want to but for now I'm going to be putting aside and I'm going to be giving this the ID equal to left underscore side and just go ahead and end that right there and on the registration page what this is going to be is this picture right here and on the right hand side I'm just gonna be instead of an aside this is the main section section and ID equals right underscore side and this section is gonna end right there so basically the main wrapper is just gonna make sure our web page is centered the left side is just gonna be the picture and the right side is gonna be the registration form as you see right there so now what we have left to do is if we uploaded this web page right now it would look like the dumbest blank web page ever but it would have a nice title so in the next tutorial what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking you guys through all of the CSS that we need to make our website look pretty but for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video where we're gonna be spicing things up making it look beautiful